So when I was in elementary school, I was kind of active in a lot of things. And my senior from middle school, every morning they always wait in this hall and then they will say, Boo! I hate you! What are you doing here? And I would just keep my head down. I'm sorry. And walk right upstairs, like holding my tears. Juliana and today I'm going to tell you my life story about bullies so in elementary middle and high school there is always a time where I don't feel comfortable being me maybe because I'm a teenager trying to find myself but as you know I transferred school a lot it's like four times so it made my teenage life not easy because I have to fit in in a certain crowd and I just hate that moment when your teacher called your name and I have to introduce myself to all of them in front of the class like they they will just stare at me like I just killed somebody like it's it's one of the most uncomfortable thing ever students we have new friend here so Juliana come up here and introduce yourself uh, my name is Juliana and I just moved from uh, from my other school or when I don't know who to spend my lunch with I would just sit there <laughs> eating alone like a sad person. It's, oh my god, it's such a bad memory. And just when I thought I fit in, I moved to another school again and I gotta start from zero again to fit in. And at those moments, I experienced bullies. So when I just moved to my school in elementary school, I just found my passion in theater. There's a lesson about drama and then my drama teacher just called me and well, he discovered my talent and I discovered my passion for theater and then he recommended me to enter a, a theater <laughs> extracurricular that is the most popular in my school back then. And then he introduced me to everybody there that he saw talent in me. And then suddenly I just saw this group of girls whispering like, I don't know, it was so uncomfortable. Like, and then I know they hate me. Yeah, they hate me a lot because of that. And it sucks because I didn't do anything. There was a time too that I just entered like middle school and then there was this senior, a girl. She wrote in my Friendster, yes, I played Friendster, okay? She wrote on my wall like, um, I hate you, you should just kill yourself. And when I first saw it, I, I stopped. Tears literally rolled out of my eyes like that instant because it hurt so much and then it's embarrassing because everybody could see that post in my home. I was so sad and then I felt worthless. It's just so sad. So when I was in elementary school, I was kind of active in a lot of things like theater, modern dance and all of that. And my senior from middle school, they know me and then they instantly hated me. <laughs> They instantly hated me. I don't know what for what reason for, for that. Every morning, they always wait in this hall for me to come up and then they will say, Boo! I hate you! What are you doing here? I was like... <laughs> it was so bad. Like, if I remember it, oh my gosh. And I will just keep my head down and walk right upstairs, like, holding my tears. It's, it's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> oh my god. My high school life is so bad, oh my gosh! There's a time too in senior high school where I just made new friends and then I realized that one of them is talking behind my back and telling everybody to hate me for the same reason and yeah. Well, I experienced a lot of bullies and now that I remember it, it's, it's kind of sad but it's kind of... I'm kind of thankful for that because it made me stronger. It made me want to be my better self. There's a lot of time that when I move school, like before they know me, they judge me and then they hate me because I'm a talkative person, I'm an active person. But now, as I turn 19 and almost 20 now, I realize that all my traits, my talkative side, my active side, it actually turned out to be a good 
traits for me to dive into a real society right now so if I can go back to my 15 or 16 year old self or for those of you who experience bully or is experiencing bully right now don't listen to what they're saying they may be saying you don't look good you don't have any talent your personality sucks but whatever it's you you don't have to listen to all the bad things they are saying about you you just have to keep moving on forward and being the best version of you and there comes a time when you receive hate so much you don't feel love but you gotta remember that you are loved you have close friends family brother sister you can you can tell them your problems when you reach the lowest part of your life you should remember that you are loved when you feel useless you should remember that there's a reason that you are born into this world like this spoon this spoon has a reason why it is made in the first place it is for us eating food or this clothes this clothes is for covering our body so we wouldn't be naked in front of anybody because it would not be good and when you feel useless you have to remember you breathe out carbon dioxide for trees so without you there wouldn't be any trees my point is you are not useless okay number four just keep being you and yeah keep being the best version of you that you can be because nobody's perfect and it's good if you want to keep improving yourself to be better and better every single day and for you guys who intentionally or unintentionally bullied somebody it's a good thing if you stop because bringing other people down won't make you feel like you're up there be friends with whoever you are comfortable with if you don't like a certain somebody then don't be friends with them it's it's as easy as that you don't have to talk behind their back bring them down just don't be friends with them like choose your friends we have to choose our friends right i hope i can help you guys who are bullied or have experienced bullied because i julian and stephanie am a victim of bully and i survived I only share these kind of stories with my close friends but I feel like you guys are my friends now I just feel like sharing it with you guys so that's it for today's video I hope you can get something out of this and yeah I wish you all the best in life and keep that smile on your face okay that's it for today bye and I just hate that moment when your teacher yeah he apa ya Then he recommended me to enter a theater, theater, a theater. Tata, kau udah sedih duluan. But for me, if I can go back and talk to those people who bullied me, I would say, hey, wait, <laughs> cing kurang, cing kurang. Jangan kata ya dari situ dah. <laughs>